Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. And I'm Cardwell. And today, we're going back to Lineth, our girl, my favorite. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go back to see what Red White does, uh, but we're gonna throw in green in this one just to be a little crazy, I know. Splash. But, it's all good. Before we get into it guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below, go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support and we'd greatly appreciate it. With that, let's go over in Goddess's favor. So, we are playing goddesses again, but it's not like what you think. So by that, I'll explain it when we get to it, but we're mostly going off of one card, and we're going to see what all can happen. So, the ruler we're playing is Lineth, the priestess of Velsavaria. She's got Stranger 10, just like all the others, and she judgments for two white and a red, and energizes a white and a red. And whenever a light regalia comes into play, or if it's Caduceus, you get to do her ability, you get to trigger it twice or whatever. Um, you choose one. You choose a card from a stranger deck at random and put it in your hand. Uh, or remove the top card of your deck from the game, then draw a card. Or remove target resonator with total cost one or less from the game. Or you make judgment for zero. Is what she does when you have Caduceus and you get two of those. Um, and then when she judgments, she's an 11-14 with enter. Remove target non-J ruler, non-magic stone entity from the game. Seems good. And then you can pay a white and a red, and choose a card from a stranger deck at random, put it in your hand, and then you may put a stranger from your hand into the field. So you get a free dude on, on the God's Art, and you get to auto-remove a thing. So I, it's pretty strong just being like, hey, remove that. But I'm sorry, I have to say, whenever you judgment her and do her God's Art, you have to sing uh, with eyes wide open. Yeah. With eyes wide open. Yeah, because oh. she, she does open her eyes on the backside. So, the strangers, the ones we have right now, we got the white wizard, he has one white for a 5-7, and he's got drain, prevent all damage that would be dealt to resonators with a 1-1 counter on them by chance and abilities, and then enter, distribute two 1-1 counters on up to two target J resonators you control. So he just helped put out things. Next is Ushua, the flame swordsman. He has three red and one for a 17-17 warrior. He enters, he deals 17 damage, 1700 damage to target resonator. If this card would deal more damage than the resonator, than its capacity, uh, this deals the rest to the controller. So That's really good. You shoot a 10-10, they take 7. That's yeah. essentially what this means. And it's super strong. Yeah. Uh, next is Ishtar, the Great Goddess of Kindness. She is a 10-10, and enter, put a non-stranger resonator from the graveyard into the field. Simple as that. Pretty strong. The next one we got is Amaterasu, the Oracle of the Sacred Texts. She is a red and white for an 8-8 deity. Other light and fire resonators you control get plus two plus two, and then you may pay one less to play light and fire resonators. So she makes your dudes cost less, which is super nice. And then next we have Frigg, the goddess of abundance. She has two green and one for a 10-10. Automatic abilities of goddess resonators you control trigger an additional time when they enter, and then enter, recover a magic stone you control. So she helps you do a lot with different goddesses. We have quite a few in here, and we have a little bit of other stuff that does fun things with it too. So. All right, the first resonator we have Asol the White uh, Gale Eagle. It's a one drop, one one flying. Uh, each turn, uh, each turn you may play a Asol's Reconnaissance without paying its mana cost, uh, which is pretty awesome for the first time. And then enter, choose a card from your stranger deck, I ran and remove it from the game, put then three one one counters on it for each stranger resonator removed this way, and then uh, moved in the removed area. Whenever this card attacks, it deals X damage, X hundred damage to the target resonator, where X is the number of one one counters on this card, mm -hmm. which is super powerful. Next is the Gatekeeper of Velsavaria. She has one red for a zero seven with quick cast. You may treat light and fire resonators in your hand as goddesses. This card gets plus one plus zero for each card in a removed area, and then enter. You may remove any number of cards in your hand from the game and draw that many cards. So her and Asol and all the other cards that do remove stuff just help you because she just gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. And she treats all your dudes in your hand as goddesses, which is kind of nice for other cards that you have. The next one is Morning Angel. So one drop angel, quick cast flying, remove target up to three cards in a graveyard from the game. So pretty much removing your own graveyard if possible. Yeah. Uh, one of the first goddesses we have is uh, Keeper of the Past, Keeper of the Present Redandy. She has one red for a 1-1. One, one. When this card enters your field, you may remove a card from your hand from the game. If you do draw a card, as long as there are 10 or more removed of cards, she gets plus 9, plus 9, and first strike. The next one is Magna's Angel. It's a green and a white 1-1, one, one, flying. Enter, choose a card from your stranger deck at random, remove it from the game. And this card gets plus 400, plus 400 for each different name all, among all stranger resonators in your removed area. 
Uh, next is Keeper of the Past Earther. She has one red and two for an 8-8 goddess. When this card enters your field, you may remove up to two cards from your graveyard from the game. If you do, it deals 200 damage multiplied times the, that yeah. to target J Resonator. And if you have 10 or more removed cards, she gets plus three, plus three in target attack. So this one gets to trigger twice if you have Frig, and you just get to be like, hey, shoot all of the things. Next one is Angel of Healing. It's two white and green. 8-8 eight, eight, flying quick cast. Enter, you gain 1,000 life. Amazing. Prevent the next damage that would be out to target Resonator until the turn. This card was entered in the battlefield from the deck, draw two cards, probably won't happen, but the fact that you can prevent damage and gain all that life for yeah. sure. Uh, next is Air Valkyrie of Mercy. She has two white and one for a six, seven. Enter, put target resonator with total cost two or less from your graveyard into the field. So you get back your Aesols or your gatekeepers or any of the little dudes, really. The next one is Alistaris, the invader of God's city. It's a uh, red, white, and seven, but wait, there's more. A 10, 10. You may pay one less to play this card for each card in your removed area, so it can be really cheap real quick. Enter, put a card from your removed area into your hand. Zero. Reveal this card from your hand, put it on top of your deck, or into your graveyard, or remove it from game. Simple as that. There's a lot of different variations that you can really do with that combination. Yeah. Next is the Palace of the Three Goddesses. It is red, white, and eight, and it has the same clause. It is one less for each card in your removed area to play and then you may put any number of goddess resonators with different names from your hand into the field and then pay a red and a white put two on counters on target goddess you control so her with this card with the uh the angel that makes all white and red dudes goddesses in your hand you can put all of them into play for this card done uh next is a uh, caduceus the red and white regalia of course your g rilla gains drain which is awesome but they can tap for any number of a uh, combination of red and white. Spin this only plays strangers, mage arts, or activated abilities up to 12 protective deities. Uh, next is Memory of Disappearance. It is one red. Put target card from your removed area into your hand. So after you get your stuff removed that you need and you want something perfectly from it, you're like, cool, give me that. Especially if you remove a stranger from the games, then you'd be like, hey, I'll pay one for a stranger. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Light of Raise and Revive. It's a red and a white quick cast. So choose one, remove target non j roller, non magic stone into you with three or less from the game. That's amazing. Or put a resonator with total cost three or less from your removed area in the field, or search your deck for light regal or reveal it and put it in your hand. This is everything you ever want to do. Yeah, this card is insane the amount of power it does. Just just for two. Just for two. Uh, and then the stones they're really simple. We have Magic Stone of Gusting Skies, the Magic Stone of the Heat Ray, and then Adaractis Memoria, because we're mostly playing red, white, and green. Yep. Um, some of the other ones you're going to be playing easier off of like the Palace of Three Goddesses. That's how you drop all the other goddesses or whatnot. So it's just, it's going to be an interesting deck to see what it does. I I thought it did a lot more with Frigg than I wanted it to. But unfortunately, the little red angel only has some big goddesses in your hand. Yeah. So it kind of hurt me a little bit, but it is what it is. But to be able to just plop out your hand and be like, I have a lots of dudes. Yeah, but this deck is still going to be very aggro, still very fun. So I can't wait to see it. Um, but the deck list will be down below guys. Check it out. Give us a like in the comments. See what it see what you think about it And with that guys, we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye later Also guys make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future Notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years Especially our mythic and above patreon followers uh, Thank you Dwayne Higgs and thank you Ryan uh, with that. We love you. Thank you for your support